Our leader is still Dale Earnhardt. But, folks, the blue car right behind you you're like Kevin LePage, one-third of a second behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. LePage has four tires for the first time since the race started and looks like he is making the absolute most of them. Well, he has cut his lead again one half in the past three laps. You can visually see him now just closing in on the AC Delco Chevy of Dale Earnhardt Jr. It's down now to just a quarter of a second. Well, you can see it's only one car link between the two cars. Matt Kenseth back in third, Bill Parsons fourth, David Green in fifth. Best finish this year in Bush competition, a third, and then Hanson driving this car for Doug Taylor. Once he has one Bush Series win, that's coming on the season finale back in November of 1996 at Homestead. Our last lap comparison between Earnhardt Jr. and Kevin LePage. And see the LePage was just a little bit faster than Dale Earnhardt Jr. Imagine uh, one round of wedge and a half a pound bear pressure adjustment. The only change is that the green flag. They're extremely pleased with how the car is running, but they're not that impressed with how fast they might be catching the leader. Because they're not sure they're going that fast that way. Oh, he hit the wall, I think, Bill. I think LePage would push it off the corner, kept it in the, in the, in the mat. Oh, if he didn't hit the wall, he came so doggone close. And part of the reason for that, Benny, might be his same thing that Earnhardt's saving something, that he's not going full out right now. So maybe LePage was pedaling a little extra hard to try and rope him in while he could. We'll double check. All right. But, man, that was so doggone close. He came off. So he's telling him, come on, help me out. Give me a push. Talking to Mike Dillon, the car, a lap car right behind him. Dillon now pulling up within a couple of car lengths of Kevin LePage. Mike Dillon is the first car being shown one lap down. He's in 10th position. I see some black marks there. I'm not sure if that was LePage or not. That touched the wall the last time. I saw some black marks on the wall. Let's see. Do you think he got it? I think he got it, Jerry. I think he did, too. I think he rushed it. You saw that steering wheel wiggle a little bit. How about it, Bill Weber? He, he got a stripe or he left one, depending on how you look at it. The spotter now is watching for smoke off the tires and sheet metal rubs. So far, they say the car's okay. So maybe you can brush the wall at 170-plus and still challenge for the win what an effort by Kevin LePage still out there running, and we don't see any smoke off any of the tires where he brushed it with the right rear fender. But he was driving the wheels off of it, trying to catch Dale Earnhardt Jr., and maybe just drove it a little bit too hard. Well, let's see, the last time he was one second behind Earnhardt, and now he's one and tenth, a second and a tenth. So he's losing one tenth of a second per lap to Dale Earnhardt. There's... All right, what a... What a run today for Kevin LePage, who bounced his car off the wall, trying as hard as he could to catch Earnhardt Jr. Let's go down and talk with him. Okay, listen, you're already on TV. You didn't have to rub the wall to get extra attention. Okay, you know, uh, that was pretty scary. But, uh, you know, we were trying to run him down, and uh, we were catching him little by little. And uh, we freed the car up a little bit in that last stop, and uh, maybe just a little bit too much. And we got the Chevrolet, uh, Channel Out Chevrolet up into the wall a little bit, but uh, it didn't hurt us. It knocked the toe in a little bit. And, and uh, we just weren't able to in this car on a regular basis in the last couple of months due to my commitment with Winston Cup. But uh, I tell you, you know, this team, week in and week out, give me a good race car. And uh, it's a testimony today what kind of race team this is. But as much as your name is batted about in racing circles, I'm sure every time a race starts, you're on a personal mission to prove yourself. Well, that's true. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, Jack Rouse hired me as, uh, as part of their organization. And, uh, you know, I want to prove to Jack, and I think I already have, you know, what, before he signed me, but, uh, you know, I want to still continue to, to, to sharpen my skills. So when I get into a Roush car, that I can do a good job for them. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you, but this deal here in the Bush Series, it's a very competitive series. And, uh, you know, today for us to run second, uh, it's like a win. Uh, Congratulations. Thank you very much, Bill.